It's time for the greatest athleticism you've ever seen in your life. The pros and the leagues are shaking in their boots. With all the videos out there of talented bowlers showing their stuff, there's this series, as it is now time to watch me suck at bowling. Hello and welcome to another edition of Watch Me Suck at Bowling for the second week of July 2022 from 204 Lanes in Harvard, Massachusetts. As you could see from the intro and the screenshot, things definitely look a lot better and less chaotic. Anyway, in terms of the action, so far we got a 93 in the first game, but does that mean the Harvard curse is going to take effect? That's when we get a high score and every game thereafter gets lower with no recovery. So will that happen? Will it finally be broken? Let's find out. Into frame on ball one. Since this place is playing loud music, most of the audio unfortunately will be muted. Ball two. The famous first ball seven pin. Sometimes it's first ball ten pin. Ball three. Now that the left side's taken care of, let's see if the right side can be taken care of. Ball hit its target, but on the wrong side. Anyway, we get nine. And for those of you who like the pin setters, here's the Bullmore in action, taking care of the 10 pin that I couldn't. There it goes. Here comes a fresh set of 10. And there you have it. Even though we got a nine, it was a bit of a rough start. Let's see if it gets better. Ball two. This time, it's ball one, 10 pin. Just the opposite of frame one. Ball three. Uh-oh. Well, let's see if we can get something in the middle. We get a stink frame of four. So far, it looks like the Harvard curse might still be a thing, but it's early. We got a nine and one, then a lousy four and two, the game is still young. We're at 13. Frame three, ball one. It's time to put that bad frame and the Harvard curse behind us. Well, maybe we're going to send the Harvard curse halfway to Worcester. Ball two. This is kind of a tough one to bounce back from, but it is doable. At least 60% of the lane will turn this into a halfway decent result. S-K-R-U-D. But a nine. Frame four, but one. Now, if we can only get some marks, that would definitely help. All two. A little bit of a crap leave, but hey, first ball actually did something this time. Ball three. Well, this is kind of ugly, but it's still doable. Let's see. Screwed again. Another nine. Still a pretty decent game going in spite of that four frame. A pair of nines and three and four. We are at 31. Can we break the Harvard curse? Frame five ball. A mark and a decent fill may break the Harvard curse. Ball two. Once again, taking care of the left side, let's take care of the right. Three. 
Which one might go? The wood might help get rid of the kingpin. Kingpin it is! Bowling God's middle finger for the nine. Frame six bowling. There have been a lot of nines in this game. Can we do any better than that? Looks like we're set up for another nine. The wood definitely could help. Or the wood could help us get a spare. Things went much better this time. We got yet another nine and five. And this time we did get a mark that we need, a spare and six. So far we're at 50 with El Stinko, the bonus ball to come. Seven ball one. El Stinko, the bonus ball. What will the bonus be? Hopefully, it will be a big one. El Stinko leaves a stinky leave. Helpful wood, though. Six. Ball two. The object pin or the orange wood next to it could get us another spare. Hit that wood too far to the right. Ball three. That was a good attempt. Anyway, let's see if we can get a nine, maybe a ten. So many close calls. Another nine. Three, eight, ball one. Lots of nines. Harvard curse still there, but will it last? Single pin spares are hard to do. Let's see if we can get it. Ball three. Looks like we might have yet another nine. Let's find out. There's something different. A ten. Wishing that was ball two, though. Those two frames were okay. But the Harvard curse still, though. Again, another 9 and 7, and this time, something different, a 10 and 8. We're at 75, so it's a good game. Just, will we break the curse? Frame nine, ball one. To break the curse, these two frames must add up to at least 19. Barring El Stinko's usual actions, it may be broken. Best frame ball one, two El Stinkos. What will they add up to? Can we get a double strike? Let's see. First El Stinko stunk with a two. El Stinko two. The good thing about having two bonus balls is the second one could make up for the first. That El Stinko went halfway to Worcester. Both of them stunk for a total of four. Ball three. All it will take is one lousy pin to break the curse. We get two with a lousy six. Things unfortunately collapsed at the end, but still. Anyway, we got a strike in nine, and then curse of the fill with a lousy six and ten. First two balls only knocking down four. Nonetheless, we got a higher score than game one with a 95, therefore breaking the Harvard curse. It's about time that was gonna happen. That wraps up game two of four for the month of July 2022's edition of Watch Me Suck at Bowling. From 204 Lanes in Harvard, Massachusetts, this is George F551 saying hope you enjoyed and have a good one.